So this episode is going to be a little bit different. It's not going to be so much a tutorial, so much as a complete walkthrough of Paxim setup. So as you can see, we are here on the home screen of Airtool. And the first thing you want to do, if you're going to want to import a flight plan from SimBrief, uh, you just have to go to settings, main app, and then make sure your username is set here, and then click set. Just if that's only if you want to use SimBrief with Airtool. So then all you have to do is go to flight setup and choose passenger for Paxim. And here in aircraft, you're going to choose which airplane you want to fly with. So in my case, I'm going to use the uh, 787-9 uh, flight number. Uh, I'll just use 7458. Uh, flight type. So in my case, it's going to be commercial because I'm flying an airliner. General aviation, if you want to fly a 172 or a, a smaller single engine uh, airplane like that. Uh, sim, in this case, I'm going to use X-Plane, but you can choose whichever one is relevant to you. Manufacturer, um, all this is is uh, what seat plan is going to be used. Um, and so I always use the one based on what uh, brand of air liner I'm flying. So I'm going to choose Boeing in this case. Model, uh, this is a 787-10 seat plan. It'll work for the Dash 9. It's not a big deal. Departure, we're going to go from Heathrow, so E-G-L-L, -L, to let's go to Toronto today. So we'll go C-Y-Y-Z. Uh, then you click Verify Route, and this is going to load up Paxim with your departure and, departure and arrival. Um, use cabin crew. So cabin crew automatically tends to passengers for you uh, and you get slightly fewer points if this is turned on, but that way you don't have to manually click on each passenger when an issue comes up. Instaboard means that all the passengers will board instantly and you won't have to wait for them to board over the course of the amount of time set in settings under um, passenger time. Layover flight is if you want to go do a layover. So in this go, that would be, for example, if I wanted to go from Heathrow to Montreal to Toronto, then I would turn that on. In this case, I'm just doing direct, so I'm going to leave that turned off. Number of packs, self-explanatory, just the number of passengers. Uh, I'm just going to randomize it, so we'll use 178, and then we'll click next. Auto announcements means that when you get to certain points in the flight, so for example, when your passengers are done boarding or when you pass 10,000 feet, an announcement will play automatically. If that's turned off, then nothing will play and you'll just have to click the buttons to play the announcements manually. Uh, virtual airline announcements are if you have a virtual airline registered and set up with Airtool. Um, if you don't and you wanted to get one, you should shoot a message over to Luke and he can get you set up with that. Audio Plus, this is if you have Audio Plus and you want to use it, which is the text-to-speech audios, um, so you have a full set for every single airline in the world, um, as opposed to a standard air tool, which is just the announcement taken from various places, whether it's YouTube or um, other sources we can use and put together manually. Um, so I'm just going to use normal auto announcements for now, so I'm going to have that turned on, and I'm going to choose uh, British Airways, I guess it was already selected from the airline uh, list here because that's the announcement specific sounds I want to use. And I'm going to click next. And then you can see here you have your flight summary um, and you can just make sure that all of the info here is correct. And then all you've got to do is click start passenger simulator. And then you'll get this ticket here. This is just loading up Paxim. Uh, it shouldn't take too long. Oh, and here we go. So then you get this menu. So, over here, this is your soundboard. Um, it's fairly self-explanatory, so the welcome announcement. This one is safety announcement. You also get the tooltip when you hover it. Um, this one is a special announcement, so in some cases that could be COVID, uh, like to remind passengers to wear their masks. In other cases, that could be something completely different. Boarding audio, that's if you have boarding audio um, set up and I will put a link in the description to the other video uh, showing you how to set that up. Um, 
stop will just stop whatever announcement is playing at the time. Over here, you have this little button here. It'll open your uh, METAR um, window. So if you click on that, then you choose whether you want it for your departure or your destination. So if we were to say departure, it'll get the METAR for, or METAR for uh, Heathrow. Um, and then you just click that again to close it. This little one here is for pushback help. Um, at the moment, this only works with flights in 2020. It doesn't work with X-Plane or P3D or FSX. And again, you can just close this one to close it back. Uh, this button here, it opens your logbook. So you can see here, these are all the flights I've done in the past with Airtool. This one here, this one toggles cabin crew on or off. So if it's highlighted, it means it's on. And if it's off, then it means it's not going to be um, responding to passengers automatically. I'm going to leave that on though. Wi-Fi, this just affects satisfaction. And it will play like a little Wi-Fi announcement. Um, if you click it. This one over here, this one is to divert your aircraft. So if you are flying somewhere and you have an issue and you need to divert somewhere, you can click that and that'll give you all the options you need for diverting. But in this case, um, you can see that we are just here at Heathrow. And so all I'm going to do is I'm going to click on board passengers over here and what this will do is it will start the boarding process so you can see and you can see as it starts these little seats here will light up now if you want to see more info about it uh, like a name you can click on that seat and you can see here you get the name their age and then their gender so that's just a little tip um, so let's say you are uh, boarding your passengers, but you don't want to wait after all. Uh, what you can do, you can go into manage tools and just click on board instantly. And you can see the counters here, they're spooling up for packs on board and down for packs at the gate. And you can also see that a lot more of these seats are lighting up green. So what that does is if you just, it just boards all the passengers instantly. So if we give it a sec, you'll hear the welcome announcement play since I turned on auto announcements. Welcome on board this British Airways flight. Just a reminder about hand luggage, small bags. And there you go. You can see luggage. that the um, announcement for welcome was playing automatically. I'm not actually going to do the flight right now, but if I were to, um, once I got to Toronto in this case, all you had to do, you'd click deplane passengers right over here, and that would have all your passengers deplane. And once again, if you didn't want to wait for them to deplane, you would go to Manage Tools, and even though it says board instantly, if they're in the process of deboarding, they will deboard instantly. Um, and then you'll see that once all of the passengers are gone, then your score will tick back to zero. You'll get a little message here saying um, deboarding successful, your score has been uploaded. And once you're done with that, you can just close AirTool as you normally would.